Hey friends, today I'm gonna to do a full face of clean beauty, so buckle up. Right now my skin is completely clean. I washed my face with my Lay You Cleanser by Biologique Recherche. I did an exfoliation step using my lotion P50V1970, also by Biologique Recherche. And I used the Dr. Barber Serum Hyaluronic Serum uh, as a prep step as well. So those are the only three things I've done to my skin so far. There's not a stitch of makeup on just yet. So here we go, I'm gonna dive in. So I'm going to start with the Double Tensor by Cicely Paris. This is a very lovely base. Uh, some call it a primer. I think it is kind of a, I guess I would say it's a primer and skincare step in one. A lot of people have kind of balked at the price, but I think it's around $95, which for purely a makeup primer, I agree that would be kind of insane. But this product has long and short term skin uh, effects and benefits. I primarily find that it just does a lovely job of kind of giving my face a lifted effect and uh, just a very nice finish. My makeup stays on really well and my pores feel blurred and I just, when I don't use it, I notice a difference. So anyway, starting there. Next, I am going to actually use a really dynamic product by Westman Atelier called Lit Up. This is her highlighter product. You can use it as you would a traditional highlighter, or you can use it as I am today. I'm going to put it all over my face, kind of underneath my foundation step to give me kind of an underneath inner glow effect. And since I carry my makeup and everything I do down my neck and decollete, we make sure we get down there as well. Okay, great. And I'm just gonna use the foundation brush by Westman Atelier to kind of work that in so it's not just like a streaky highlight. And I don't like to use tugging actions. It's more of kind of blotting and blending. And traditionally I always try to go in upward motions if possible. Okay, so my next step is going to be my BB cream, which is basically a tinted moisturizer and sunscreen step. And I actually blend my own and I go into more detail about that in another video, which I will link down below. For now, I'm going to show it to you just kind of quickly. So for color, I use the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in G6. I use Marie Veronique's Protective Day Oil, as well as Tan Lux The Face, which is a self-tanner product. And then I use Josie Moran's sunscreen, Argan Daily Sunscreen as well. Like I said, I have a more detailed video of me creating that BB cream that I'll link. I also have a video of me using that cleanser exfoliator and the serum that I showed you at the very beginning. All right, so I apply this more or less as I would my moisturizer. So sunscreen is a really important step and not all foundations have a sunscreen in them. So if you have a foundation that you love but it has no sunscreen, I recommend crafting your own BB cream where you combine a sunscreen with your foundation. And I use those other two ingredients, the oil and the self tanner um, because they just really add a lovely effect. The oil kind of thins everything out because I'm not looking for a ton of coverage. That Marie Veronique product also has some added sun benefit ingredients and then the self tanner just really helps with getting kind of that natural bronzy glow. Okay, so moving on to the next step. So when I do my BB cream, which is what I do every day, I usually don't then go in for a full coverage foundation look. What I will actually do 
is combine a couple different products. And I guess my Clinique chubby stick doesn't fall into clean beauty, so sorry about that. But the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation certainly does. And this one is kind of a special little guy. This is the shade N. And I like to use this as my under eye concealer. It's quite a light color, um, but it works really well for under eye concealing, largely because it's a very, very neutral color. It does not have a warm undertone, nor does it have a cool undertone. And that's why the N shade in the Vital Skin Foundation by Westman Atelier is special compared to the other shades because it has no prescribed undertone and therefore makes it really, really good for concealing. So I will generally kind of keep my concealer and my foundation kind of both nearby because I'll tend to do a little blend of each. You know, your face is very, it's dimensional. It has different planes and you don't really want to do a, a foundation or a conceal step where you make everything exactly the same color because naturally your face is not all one color towards the center. It, typically your skin can be a little lighter and towards the edges it can be darker. Now that's different for different people. So kind of take a hard look in the mirror at your skin and see where your darker areas and your lighter areas are and then touch them up accordingly so that you still have a very natural look to your skin. Because at least I, I am not trying to achieve some complete transformation with my makeup. Like, I like a no makeup makeup look. I want to look in the mirror and look like me, not, you know, come home at the end of the day and take off my makeup and look like I'm a completely different person. It's just not the type of look that I go for. Okay, so as you saw, I really didn't take those two products all over my whole face. I kind of just dabbed it in to some of my little problem areas to kind of just give me a nice overall clean look. All right, and so next I'm going to bronze. And I will start with Westman Atelier's, what does she call it? Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer, which is a very, very lovely, very natural looking bronzer. And it, this one's great for both men and women because there's just not at all any sparkly glitteriness. So definitely a great unisex product. And I kind of take bronzer the places where the sun naturally hits me because I want to have a natural looking tan. So I've got my Chikahoodoo brush, my Westman Atelier bronzer, and I always bronze down here on the top of my chest because when I naturally tan, I tend to tan here, kind of across the top of my forehead and here on my chest. So that's where you're seeing me take the product again looking for a very natural look. Okay next I'm going to use Air Perez a uh, product by their brand. It's the Vanilla Highlighter in Sun Halo. It's kind of this bronzy highlighter but again I, I love this product because it's not glittery at all. I mean it looks like it could be maybe in the pot but it's really not and it doesn't give you this really slick wet look that some highlighters do so I enjoy it very much as kind of a more natural glow product and it is a clean beauty brand okay so next for blush I have two blushes I'm going to use one is by Kajir Wise and you know what I'll have to look up what the name of this color is I'll make sure I notate it in the description below I don't have it immediately in front of me, but this is a very nice kind of coral color. And I'm going to blend it out. So right now I'm kind of just placing it generally where I want it. Then I'm going to add um, Weston Atelier's Pop It, 
which is a very bright kind of fuchsia color, which you do not need to be afraid of. It blends out very nicely. We're going to use the Baby Blender Rush by Westman Atelier to kind of just buff in those two colors. So I really love Westman Atelier's brushes. They're very soft, really high quality. They clean well. Only downside is they are rather expensive, but I feel like with the Westman Atelier brand, you, you pay for quality, you get what you pay for. It's not a budget brand, um, but it's just a really lovely, high quality, clean brand. Okay, so we have a nice pinky flush going on. Anything left on my brush, I'm gonna carry over to the bridge of my nose. And next we're going to do eyes. And we're gonna start with a somewhat controversial product by Westman Atelier. This is her iPods uh, in the Le Jour palette. She has two palettes. This one is the daytime palette, hence uh, the French title Le Jour. She has a nighttime palette called Le Nuit, which I also have, and I will do a separate video on that one. But the reason why I say this one's a little controversial is I think that several people have expressed that they were unhappy with the product. And I think if you understand the product going into it and it is the type of look that you're looking for, then you'll love it. And what I mean by that is if you enjoy the no makeup makeup look as I do, then this is a very lovely combination of colors. But if you're looking for a really dramatic eye look, you'll have a really hard time attaining that with this product because these are very translucent, very light. I wouldn't say they're really buildable, um, but I love them. I adore them, but I understood when I bought them that these were not super pigmented and were more in line with the no makeup makeup look that I was looking to achieve. So this is the first color, um, Tabak, which is kind of a golden color. Does not go on sparkly at all. Uh, the next one is Neige, which the visual, visual representation on camera isn't going to be fantastic because I this is a white color, very translucent white. It looks not so white on camera because traditionally I use this color last, which means my brush that has browns on it dips into this and kind of leaves behind that cast. So if you were opening a brand new product, this would be very white. And then the third color in the palette is Chocolat, which is a chocolate brown. So I'm going to be using another one of Westman Atelier's brushes. This is her uh, eye brush number one. It has kind of this wide broad edge and then skinny kind of flat edge that's good for doing kind of loose lining around the eyes. So for the base color, I'm gonna to use Tabak and you're gonna really see, I'm gonna really dig my brush in here and you'll see that the color payoff is not big. This is not a highly pigmented product. If you're looking for drama, this is not the product for you. So I've really dug my brush in there and you will see that it is just very subtle color delivery. Okay. All right, so the Tabak is the base color. Next, I'm going to use the Chocolat, which is this dark brown color, which again, I'm gonna get my brush in here and you will see that the color payoff is not real significant, okay? So I do kind of that corner edge and then I take the thin part of the brush to coax the product into my crease. Okay, again, not a lot of color payoff. You might expect a darker color like this to show up much darker on the skin, especially with how much I dig my brush in there. But this is the reality of what you get with this product and I adore it. But if I wanted that drama and I pulled this out, I'd be real disappointed to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna take kind of the skinny edge of the brush and then do some subtle lining underneath. I definitely love a more subtle 
eyeliner look nowadays. I never pull out like a sharp, hard black pencil or liquid to line my eyes anymore. And a lot of times I will just do that underneath part. Although today I'll do a little bit around the top too. Okay. And then as you saw, I dug into this two darker colors. So going into the neige, the white color, um, it leaves behind some product. You can kind of see in the middle there that it's pretty white, but I use this kind of just to top off that center part of my lid. Okay, so that is the three colors from the Le Jour palette. And as I said, the color payoff is not significant. And that's okay. I really love this very subtle look. So I'm happy with it. But know what you're getting when you buy that product for sure. And I think you'll be happy if the no makeup makeup look is more in line with what you're going for. Okay, so mascara, my all time favorite is the I Love You Mascara by Weston Atelier. 96% clean, it's a beautiful soft black. It doesn't flake. The most unique thing about this product is you can actually layer it later in the day. So if you wanted to refresh your look in a few hours, you could put another layer of this mascara over top and it would look fantastic, which I feel like I've never been able to do with any other mascara before. You know, it would just be ridiculous to try and put a layer over top several hours later. It'd be flaky and spidery and just ugly. And I think that's one of the most unique things about this product is that you are able to do that kind of refresh of your look. Um, Ooh, this next product, you also can slap me on the wrist for not really being in the clean beauty natural vein, but it is the one and only brow product that I've ever found that I feel like matches my color of my hair and gives kind of a natural look and not a real painted on brow look. So this is the Boy de Chanel in deep brown eyebrow pencil. One side has a brush, the other side has this kind of flat, uh, slanted product. And my brows are sort of a mess right now. I feel like they've been a mess for a long time, but I have these crazy patches underneath that I, I basically have refused to pluck my eyebrows during quarantine. I am fantasizing I'm gonna come out of the pandemic with the big, beautiful brows I had as a young girl before the 90s when I started plucking. Anyway, this product is just such a great color match for me. And generally what I'm trying to do is fill in my patches, create a more straight across and lifted kind of look, not a completely straight, but not a super high arch. I generally like a straighter across look. And the nice thing about this product is you can start with that brush for shaping, add some color, then you can go back with the brush, do a little more shaping. If you feel like you put too much of the product in, you can use the brush to kind of feather it out. And kind of lift at the end. Okay, there we go. Boy de Chanel, not a clean beauty brand. I apologize, but it's the one and only brow product that I will use. If you guys have great clean brow products that you recommend, please drop them in the comments. I would love to give them a try. Okay, next we will do lips and I am going to start with my Raw Elements Baby and Kids Sunscreen Lotion, which has SPF 30. I put sunscreen in that BB cream that I had put on at the start, but the lips can get 
overlooked and preserving the volume of your lips, especially as you age is so important and sunscreen is a really important step in protecting your natural volume. So that, as you can see, gives me a very white cast. I'm going to follow that with my Kari Grain Lip Whip in the color Suji, which is a very rich red. And it's the middle of the day and I just have a couple little errands to run and I'm gonna do stuff in my garden. I don't wanna go for this dramatic of a look, but this color thins out uh, in a very lovely way using another product that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. So I'm gonna start with just kind of depositing a little bit of this color. Not a lot, because I'm not looking for a real dramatic red right now. So I have just a bit of the color on there. And then I'm gonna follow with Manasse 7's All Over Shine in Cristallo, which I adore this product for thinning out really pigmented lip colors for times when I don't want a real dramatic lip look. It is not super glossy. It has a very minimal kind of gloss finish. And as you can see, it really helps me dilute this very red color into this kind of faint red. And then my last product is another oopsie in terms of not really sticking with this being an entirely clean makeup regimen. Maybe if you guys can help me in this department too by dropping comments below if you have a good translucent finishing powder that is natural and clean. Today I'm going to use By Terry's Hyaluronic Hydra Powder which has powdered hyaluronic acid. This is a nice powder finish because it helps to take away shine, but it doesn't totally take away the glow, which I found some finishing powders just completely mattify and kind of erase any efforts you may have made to make your skin glowy. Plus this does have some hydration, hydrating properties. So this is the lid of the product. I'm kind of just using it to help me push the product around on my brush because if I just dab my brush, my Chikahudu brush into the pot, it's this very, it's just a lot of product and I don't want all that. See now how I kind of got it all over my brush, which means I can deposit it more evenly. So that is all I am doing there. And do you know what, this little bit, I'm gonna use a little bit of that Suji actually down here on my chest and just kind of pat it in. I always like to add some kind of blush, something with an undertone of red right there on my chest to kind of encourage that natural tan look because traditionally if you get a natural suntan, a lot of times that comes with a little tinge of sunburn. So having a little bit of red in with your brown bronzy colors helps to give you a very natural looking tan. So that's it. I am not a palette of perfection, but I have a nice enhanced look to me. I would consider this a no makeup makeup look, a very clean, generally clean uh, overall practice. I used a lot of products. I'm gonna link them below in case you wanna dig into any more of them. And if you have clean recommendations, again, for a brow product, a finishing powder, as well as foundation. I mean, I really love the Westman Atelier Vital Skin, which I combined with the Clinique. Um, chubby stick because this is this color the normous neutral color is just such a great match for my skin tone I bet if I dug into Weston Atelier's line I could probably find another one from her that would be a good um, duo because again I think when you're doing kind of a touch-up concealer foundation versus a full face foundation it's good to have at least two colors if not three so that you can maintain a really natural look of having 
uh, different tinted planes of your face, but in a very subtle way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to put a ton of links and a ton of information down in the description. I hope that you'll subscribe. I'm going to continue to post videos on skincare, makeup, and lifestyle, all stuff that I have researched in detail and tried myself, bought myself. None of this is sponsored. Um, I have no reason to fib to you, my friends. So anyway, I hope you enjoy these very honest demonstrations of products that I love and please do subscribe. It encourages me to keep doing it. <laughs> Thanks and have a great day.